Hey there, what's up? This is Santi, and today I want to help you solve one of the most annoying problems of all time. Yes, of the whole of humanity. And this is taking this is taking YouTube notes, notes of YouTube videos, right? So for instance, you know, you're in a TED talk, watching a TED talk that you enjoy, or you know, like watching anything in YouTube. In here I have an example of Vsauce, Michael, if you're familiar with him, he's amazing. And he, here's a TED talk that I really I'm enjoying and I want to take notes on. So what I end up usually doing, and I bet you do too, is you open another, you know, you open a note taking app and here you start writing whatever note. Let's say something that he's talking in this TED talk, how does creativity work? But of course, if I want to revisit this, I'm going to have to put that timestamp, right? The correct moment in which he said this so that I can later revisit it and it keeps going, you know, as you keep watching the video, you might say like, okay, this is interesting. So I'm also going to take note on that just like that. And of course, you're going to have to put the correct timing in order to know where this was said. And you know, this is just very tedious. You also have to put the link and <laughs> this is just a very tedious process. If you ever want to revisit these things, you're going to have to have this note open, the video open. And yeah, it's just a tedious process that I've had to deal with for a long time. I bet you had as well. And I really haven't been able to find a solution for this. I've tried browser extensions, some note taking apps that kind of have some features for videos or embedding the video in the note, which can also be done, you know, like there's tons of solutions, but I finally found one that I'm happy with and I'm going to share it with you and it's called Annotate. So this is what it looks like. It's an amazing tool designed to solve just this problem. You know, I'm going to show you, I'm going to walk you through a bit on some of the features and how it looks, but it's amazing. And yeah, I'm super excited to work with this company because I've been talking to the creator, an amazing guy called Matthew from Argentina. We've got along pretty well and we started collaborating. So now I have a really cool discount for you. So if you go to Santi, uh, well, annotate.tv slash Santi, you'll have a discount, a permanent discount across your subscription. And this is going to save you some money. And also, you know, as a disclaimer, we are collaborating. So this is an affiliate link, but I truly believe in this application. Actually, we've been talking quite a lot. We set up the affiliate program from scratch because I really wanted to recommend this to you. And I really wanted to work with Matty, the creator of this amazing tool. So with that said, I'll leave the link in the description. You can also just use the coupon code Santi. But with that, let me show you what it looks like, because I think this is amazing and it's really solving this problem that I had for so long. I love taking notes on videos. I watch tons of YouTube videos and there's tons of things that I want to save. I want to revisit for later. And this is just the absolute best way to do it. So let me walk you through how it works and what it looks like. All right. So, yeah, you can always try it. There's a, a nice trial just to see how it works. And once you have your account, you can just go to your videos. And in here, you'll be able to see. Let me just click on that videos there we go yeah perfect and you know here we'll see a couple of playlists or folders and tons of the videos that i saved right all of these are my playlists and what you can do is you can actually make it dark mode you know i is not a built-in feature I, I am a huge fan of dark mode and this is the extension that i actually use to make anything dark mode so when you click on it it makes tons of like web pages across the internet dark mode unfortunately annotate doesn't yet have a built-in feature at the time of recording this but this extension called dark reader which works in chrome works in firefox it works in internet explorer just kidding i'm sure it doesn't <laughs> but it makes everything look super nice and as a lover of dark mode as a lot of a lot of you out there you know i just love dark mode either way that's just kind of a weird thing about like how i use every application i just try to make it dark mode so i really like how it looks with dark mode it responds super well with the extension that i'm using and if you click in new right here you're going to be able to either input a new URL, you know, like something from YouTube and you can give it a title, of course, but what's way better is if you install the Chrome extension. So I'm going to show you in here, if you can just go to, to the Chrome extensions, it will take you to the link. You'll be able to add to Chrome. And once you do that, you're going to be able to actually already have that installed. I have it right in here. So for the sake of, you know, this video, we can just pin it. You can also add a shortcut to it if you want to, if you know how. Uh, but you can just pin it and have it in the top bar right here. So yeah, now you are going to be able to use that whenever you're in a YouTube video. So let's just open youtube.com, which I'm sure you're familiar with. It's a really nice website. And let's search any video. I'm going to search something on Stoic Philosophy, which is one of my passions. You know, something I love learning about. This is one of the best videos on, on introduction to Stoicism. So all we need to do is we... Actually, you know, we might be already watching this video here on YouTube, but we want to take notes on it. And if we want to use Annotate, all we need to do is just click on the icon of Annotate and that is going to send it directly there. 
that's just going to load a new page where it's going to load it in annotate and now it's all ready to be used, which is amazing, right? So now from here, what's amazing is that you can just play it now from annotate and you can start watching the video and you can start taking notes here in the same context where you're watching the video and whenever you're ready to confirm something that you're writing on, it's going to go to the sidebar, right? So on the left side, that note is going to be saved and let's just keep ahead through the video. Let's take a note on another specific part. You know, here we go. And let me just correct that. There we go. Okay. So now that again goes to the left sidebar, right? And you can just keep going. You can just take as many notes as you need. Of course, here's another example. There you go. And then I'm just going to confirm that. Really cool. And as you can see, all the timestamps are saved. You can also resize the size of, of the video if you want to take longer notes on the lower panel. And yeah, just it's just super cool, super useful. It's just such a good experience in general. I, I absolutely love it. And you can do tons of amazing things as well. As you can see in here, there's a transcript 30 second range. You can also access the transcript of absolutely the whole video, which I'm going to show you in a second. But right here, you can just transcript the whole thing. And that is going to just take it down to the description of your, of your notes in the lower part. And from there, you can just confirm it. And that transcript is going to be saved on the left sidebar in the same way, right? The same, this is an amazing feature as well. What you can do is if there's any text in the video that you want to, you know, like there's a particular amount of text that you want to save that you, and you don't want to type it manually, here's what you can do. And it's just amazing. So what you can do is just use this feature right here of the camera that is going to kind of like just grab the text and it's going to put it down there. As you can see at the very bottom, it says like Ted Ed which is just because there's a little icon of Ted Ed in here. So in this case, we're just going to have to delete that. But it's amazing because the rest of the quote was completely saved. And that is just amazing, right? So another like killer feature of this amazing application is that you can access a transcript, right? So if you click on the transcript pane in here, you'll be able to see the whole YouTube generated transcript in text, meaning that now you can search the whole video by via text, right? And you can jump to the specific parts of the video where a particular part is being mentioned, right? Or you can create an annotation out of it, right? So say you like something, you can create this into an annotation. So the way that you would do that is you highlight some of the text that you want, and then you can create an annotation out of that. And that is going to go to the left side pane, which came to the part where it really belongs, right? Which is uh, in, in second... 19 right so there you go from there you just can skip to whatever part just by clicking on the specific timestamps that you created and you can just you know just go and resize and start reading everything that you're taking notes on again you can search the transcript you can do tons of amazing things and you can even search with the search bar the specific notes that you already created if you remember something that you already took notes on you can just use this search functionality which is amazing right now from here, you can just click on the three dots and you can export, you know, as Markdown or as PDF, or you can even use Readwise if you have that. And that way you can just take the contents of all of this. You can even copy a link to share. This is a really cool feature because say you want to share these notes that you've taken on a YouTube video with a friend, you can just generate a copy link. And now that becomes a public link that someone else can access. Only the people that have the link can access it and that way you can just share your notes on anything with anyone is really really cool from there you can click on the video section which is going to take you back to where all the videos are so from here you can you know we're going to scroll down that's where we actually have our video saved but we can save it into these collections or playlists as it's called which is just a folder where you can organize things a bit better and you can move it to the playlist and the relevant playlist right now that I'm going to choose is philosophy, right? So once you select the playlist, you can accept it and that is going to actually take you to the playlist where you chose to save it. And there you have it, right? This is going to be together with all the other videos that you tagged as or that you put in the playlist of philosophy in my case. And you can, of course, jump into any specific part that you want. And again, like the really cool thing about this whole experience is that you make it a much better experience for yourself. Now you don't need to open your note taking app. You don't need to open YouTube on the other side and you don't need to manually go to the specific section of the video that you took a note on. You can, as, again, like search on the whole transcript of the video, which is super useful because 
like we know like YouTube videos are hard to just like go to the specific part that you want, right? So you can either take notes like this or you can just even just use some of the functionality, some of the features like the transcript or even taking some text and convert it into, into sorry, some image with text and convert it into text. Tons of amazing features in here. So let's see what else we got. So yeah, as you can see, you can just organize things in all types of ways. By default, things go to the bottom, but then you can reorganize them into playlists. This is something I actually use for my own videos. As you can see here, I have a few of my videos. And if we just open one of the ones that I recently uploaded, you can just see that this is how I take actually notes of my videos. And then I format them, you know, I export it as Markdown and then I format it. So if you see these things at the bottom of my videos or a lot of YouTube videos, this is actually how I create it. So if you make videos, this is of course super helpful for that purpose. But in general, it's just a good way to organize things. You can export it as Markdown and yeah, then you can just reformat it to whatever needs that you might have, right? So you can click on my videos and in there you can actually create playlists. Like I was telling you, this is how I create my usual playlists. Uh, for instance, I'm learning Latin, so that's something I'm taking notes on. Here are a couple of awesome songs translated to Latin, so I can just move it to the correct playlist. Again, by clicking on the three dots, that's going to open Move to Playlist. And from there, you just select the relevant playlist, and that is going to immediately... You can search it, actually, which is really cool. That is immediately going to go to the correct folder or playlist. And yeah, that's how you can access things, right? Then you also have... Uh, ways to categorize things. You can archive certain videos, you can mark them as finished, as not finished, and that's how you can filter through particular videos that you are maybe still watching, you know, videos that you want to say like, okay, I haven't finished this yet, so just mark it as not finished yet. And then once you're finished, you can just mark it as finished. You know, you can organize things in whatever way that you find convenient and that you enjoy, right? You also have a couple of settings. So in the settings, you can do a couple of very basic things. But one of the cool things that you can do if you're actually um, interested in checking out Readwise, which is an extra service that allows you to connect different applications between each other. And that way you can take uh, maybe some data, some notes from one application, put it somewhere else. This is really up to you, but it's nice to have the option because that way you can, you know, like automatically synchronize everything that you write in here, go into another note taking app or anything like that. So here's where you would put the Readwise token. You can generate that if needed. So yeah, that's just a cool feature if you're ready to use Readwise or you consider using it. So yeah, that's how it works. Uh, here I have a couple of my TED Talks, for instance, just to give you an example. And I can jump to the specific part. I can export it to Markdown, like I said. And yeah, just go back to my videos, do all type of cool stuff. Here are some other videos that I have, just to show you around what I have. Uh, but yeah, that's basically it. So again, keep in mind that I'm making it dark mode thanks to an extension. So, you know, by default, everything looks in, in light mode. Uh, but again, I'm using this, this thing called Dark Reader that allows you to change the, um, the look of, of any specific website. And this one just works perfectly. Uh, but this is what things look like, just in case you're curious. Yeah, it, it has a nice... Um, you know, blue tone to, to everything. And this is what things actually look like, right? So yeah, there you go. And again, dark bitter, you can activate it. And this is what I make it look because I just think it looks a bit cooler and works perfect. So, so yeah, that's great. You can just jump to things and so on. So there you have it. Annotate is an amazing tool. I'm super happy to be working with Matty, the creator of this. I really want to thank him for, you know, for this collaboration. Again, you can check it out in the description, the coupon code that you can use, Santi, and then that way you get a discount. And I also get some benefits out of that. It's just an affiliate link. But I've, I was really, you know, Matty and I, we've been working to make this work. We, we kind of like started the whole affiliate program from scratch just to make it work because I really wanted to work with him. So yeah, I hope you find value in this video. I think it's really the best solution for taking notes on YouTube videos. So yeah, let me know if you're using this. Let me know if you're willing to give it a try. If you find it a solution to something that you haven't been able to find a solution before, like it was the case for me, I was doing all types of weird stuff in order to get, you know, like notes out of YouTube videos. And this is by far the best experience I've had with YouTube videos. So I hope you enjoyed that. Again, the link in the description to get it and to get it for a discount. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. See you later. Bye.